Hello, Michael here from the RPG Academy podcast and YouTube channel. And today we're going to do another DMing 101 video, and I'm going to show you how to make a super simple, super easy dungeon mapping application. First thing you're going to do is open up a Excel spreadsheet or other spreadsheet system, whatever you have available, whatever you prefer to use. And basically we're going to turn this into graph paper. So I'm going to take all of the columns and go really far across just to make sure I got plenty, which I should here. And I'm going to make them 22 pixels wide. Uh, you might play around and decide that you like them a little bit larger than that. Uh, but for my purposes, I like 22. So then I'll do the same thing for all the rows. And essentially we've now made these into squares. And we're now going to give them all a grid. And then we're going to pick a grayscale and color them in. And so, yes, at this point, we now have graph paper, more or less. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screen grab, which for me on a Mac is uh, basically Apple Shift 4. On your pro computer, it may be something different, uh, but I trust that you will be able to figure that out. Yeah, you're just going to grab pretty much a sheet. And what we're going to do now is we're going to open that sheet and what we're going to do is we're going to open that sheet in like a paint program. Uh, again, I have Jobs Painter, which is like the free one that comes with the Mac, but you may have something else. It really doesn't matter. Uh, the more options you have, the better, but really we're going for super simple, super easy here. So, you know, we don't even really want to overdo it. And now we've got our graph paper and we're just going to use these tools to make, make a dungeon. So first of all, I'll select my fill all or my, my bucket icon and with being colored white and you can see we've now started to map out like a tunnel maybe there's a t intersection early on and this one goes this way the other side goes this way and it goes further into the dungeon uh, we can make rooms just by clicking enough boxes to do that so now we have this room here Oops, that happens, but uh, it's easy to undo. Control Z or Apple Z. And there we have a room. We can now use our select like cut tool to get rid of all the grid lines. Or we could have just done that to begin with. We didn't even have to select all the boxes. Depending on your scale, this is more or less easy to do. But to, let's say that uh, we're going to go from this grid line all the way up to here for a hallway. Now we have a hallway and we'll just connect these two together. There you go. Uh, on mine, I have this program that will let me make shapes. So I'll make a rectangle and basically I'm going to make a big chamber that this leads to. I can take uh, another tool like this circle tool and I will make it hollow, change the color. We'll say to black and I'll make some columns. Now that I've made my first one, just to make them the same size, I can copy and I'll paste. And I can do basically the same thing over again. And it's very easy to fill up this entire chamber with a row of columns. These are pretty crooked uh, if I was trying to go a little bit slower. Make them look a little bit better. You also should be able to bring in clip art and uh, actually put a little picture of, a, of an altar or a chair or... Uh, you know, if you want to get fancy with doorways and pits and rubble, you can. But the idea here is that this is super simple and super easy. So we don't really want to take a lot of time for that here. If you're interested in doing that, then there's probably other programs out there that are better for you. Uh, this is just the simple, cheap option. I like to make uh, round chambers. So I'll just drop this here, kind of make it as equal as I can or even. Uh, so there's a chamber here and even if, maybe I want to make that a secret door and now I know I have a secret door that leads to this chamber here maybe this is a there's an altar in here or something like that you know maybe I want there to be a trap somewhere and I could even do t1 so if I have a legend that's what I'm looking for if I have a legend so I know what t1 is so I got room one I have a secret door uh, maybe there's a trap here in this hallway about there and that's that's the basics. Uh, at this point, you know what I'm doing. 
But basically, you use uh, an Excel spreadsheet or other spreadsheet turning into graph paper, and then use simple, super simple painting tools to create dungeons and things for your characters to explore. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please let me know. Leave it in the comments below. And of course, if you liked it, we would appreciate it if you would subscribe and come back for other videos like this, as well as all the actual play content that we put out on our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.